Hello everybody, this is Dr. Rinal Rajis. And today we will discuss what is permittivity, what is directly constant, and what is class phase. So if you see any material which is in the unpolarized form, in that material, the atoms and molecules, they have random orientations. So you can see over there, so this is an unpolarized material. However, when an electric field is applied, it tends the material to get polarized. So the permittivity of any material is the quantity that describes the effect of a material on an electric field. And higher the permittivity, the more the material tends to reduce in field set up in it by getting polarized. So if you see over here, so we have an uh, external field applied, which you can see uh, in the red. So we have a plus sign over here on the side of the material, the negative sign on the other side of the material. And due to this, these randomly oriented atoms and molecules, they try to get polarized. So negative tends to go towards positive end, and uh, this positive tends to go towards this negative end. So uh, this field, due to this field, this material tends to get polarized. So in fact, when an external field is applied, this material tries to reduce the effect of this external field by getting polarized. Because you can see here, so if we draw this external field, so this external field is in this direction, from positive to negative, and this internal field, it has the opposite direction. So plus is downwards, minus is upwards. So this is in the opposite direction. So two fields are acting in the opposite direction. So due to the external field, we have a field like this, and internal field is like this. So it means that this internal field is reducing the effect of the external field. And uh, we can say that the permittivity, it expresses the ability of a material to polarize in response to an external field an applied field and for a material which has lower permittivity it will have lower polarization and we say such a material is a good insulator but on the other hand if a material has higher permittivity it will have higher polarization in response to an external field and we say it is a good conductor and we can take an example of free space of a field so we call it as an ideal insulator to vacuum as no polarization happens in the vacuum. So this is uh, the permittivity and now we'll talk about uh, the dependence of permittivity on uh, frequencies. So permittivity of vacuum remains same for all frequencies. However, this is not true for other medium. Uh, the permittivity depends upon frequency, it can be different for different frequencies. How uh, we can say that? Because when an alternating field of different frequency is incident on a dielectric, it will take some time to polarize the dielectric material. Because in the case when the field is static, I mean, uh, when the field is not changing direction. Uh, and it is a, like a DC field. So we have a positive sign over here, we have a negative sign over here, and it remains same throughout the period. Then this material will get polarized as we have shown it over here. However, if this field is time changing uh, for half the time, if this field is time changing like this, so for this portion of time, the positive is on this side, negative is on this side, but for this portion of time, the negative comes over here and positive comes over here, it means that this polarization of the material, it will also change as per the polarization of the incident field. So when negative is here, positive is here, so this orientation will try to change, positive will try to come here, negative will try to come here, and likewise positive will try to come here, negative will here for all these atoms of molecules. However, this transition from, from this polarization to this polarization, this transition, it takes some time. And this time will be different for different frequencies. And usually this time difference increases with the frequency. 
and this time difference can be represented by the phase term uh, delta, which is called as the loss angle. And the tangent of this loss angle is called the tangent delta, and uh, this is called the loss tangent. And uh, we now we present uh, we when when we characterize the material, we say what is the dielectric loss tangent of any material. So this is where that term tangent delta comes in. I hope you have got the point of uh, permittivity and loss tangent. If you have any question, please feel free uh, to comment. Uh, For low loss materials, this tan delta is usually very small. And in that case, we normally say that uh, tan delta tends to equal to delta. So the lower the value of tan delta, the lower is the loss of the dielectric material.